What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going back to Curiosity Rover and we're going to go to Sol 3282. And I'm going to show you what attracted my eyes to this photo right off the bat. We're going to look at the sky as well as pan out throughout the whole photo. And I think you folks will agree that there was 100% an intelligent civilization living on Mars. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? All right, here's the photo. You can see it right here. It is a Sol 3282 and it is from the MSL or the Mars Science Laboratory. Okay, right off the bat, I saw this what looked like a domed type feature in the back of this photo. And no folks, that is not a UFO right over this domed area. This is an actual artifact from the front has cam. So this is a artifact in the camera. So no, that it's not a UFO. However, if we were to go to the right hand side here, we can see a couple of objects. Hmm, I find pretty interesting and I think you will too. Now I've done videos on this before where you can see what looks like a motion blur, like this smaller dot right up here. And then I'm gonna show you this larger one. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. We have objects in this area, even though it's dark, it'll come out. Right now it's really dark and it's really hard to see anything, but you will. This right here, what looks like some kind of weird dome structure. Here's my question. Have you ever seen any mountain, kind of like this other mountain or whatever this is here on the right, when do you ever see white all over a mountain? I mean, seriously, does that make sense to anybody? It's not snow up there, at least not that we know of. And if that's true, why isn't it on the other mountain? But yet we see these things. Now, is this really a dome structure? I say no. Let's just jump right into Photoshop and just get right into this. Okay, here we are in Photoshop. This was the size of the photo. We made it much larger here. You can see that so we can actually zoom in. Now these two objects in the sky, some people might say, well, those are artifacts. Oh, no, 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 I don't believe that they are. I've seen this before where you see what looks like, like this item right here. You can see a motion blur just underneath it. Like something is going upward toward the sky. Okay, you can see that just under this object. This much larger one, I find interesting because this one here looks pretty clear at the, I'm going to call it the back, or it could be the front, doesn't really matter to me. And we have what looks like pretty clear in the front, but yet on the top and on the bottom, it looks like blur, which indicates to me motion. Is it possible that this may be some kind of bird of some sort, and this one here is some kind of weird insect, right there. Pure speculation, but these are not artifacts of a photo, folks. This one over here definitely is 100% right there. All right, let's jump over to the right hand side and we're going to have a look. Now what you will see, there's an object right here. Looks like it stops right there, then it goes down. It's actually pretty thick. You can see it doing this and then going back down. And then there's just darkness here in the middle. Okay. There's something right here. Take a close look and I'm going to zoom into this a little bit. This is not doing anything to the photo here, folks. Just have a look. Tell me what you're seeing. I'm seeing what looks like a box. Okay. Seeing it going like this here. So it's coming down. I can see the lines to it. Then we can see what looks like inner pieces with actual lines in there separating a couple of these white pieces and then these last two right here and here have nothing in them. Also, if you look right here, it looks like something's sticking up behind it or it's part of this item, this item here. I find it's pretty wild. If you look carefully, look for the white and the dark areas, right? So I'm seeing this and you'll see this a lot better in a moment, doing this. Something's coming out of this, or it's designed this way, because it actually almost looks like it has these square pieces here. Okay. And there's another one here on the side of it. And then you have the body of whatever this thing is. You can see it kind of does this, it goes back down. And what looks like almost like a tail rotor from the back of an airplane. I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just giving you the idea of the shape, right? Now, again, this whole item, this one here, as well as this. Now, let's enhance it and let's try to figure out what these are. 
okay? You can see these now a little bit better, okay? And you can see this thing, it's kind of weird. It almost looks like it does this, but it comes down here, the body of it, and has, like I said, it looks like something you find in an airplane, the rotor fin in the back, and then you got these here. Now, is it possible that these white squares are there to take out what's behind it? Very good possibility. My whole thinking is, though, right here, what is that? What looks like a box with one, two, three, four, five? It looks like there's three things with white in those squares and two without, or at least maybe part of this one as well. See that? It is, in fact, in the photo here, folks. Look, I'm going to jockey back and forth. Have a look at it yourself. Those squares, these lines, everything is in this photo. It is there. Again, we're just enhancing it to bring out the lines. And then if anything's a little whiter, we'll bring out that whiter piece of the set object, right? All right. You can see something in the back of this mountain here. Right here. Here's another thing that's pretty interesting. At the very top of the so-called mountain or whatever this is, right here, check this out. There's actually like what look like two squares or some kind of design with a dot in the middle of each of them. And I'll, give, I'll put it back to the normal right here. See that? Let's just zoom right in, right there. Bring it a little bit better. Just back it out of here a bit. Folks, what, what are the chances of like two squares of these dots right in the center of it? All right. Again, we talked about what's in the sky here. Again, I'm seeing the blur on the big one, top and bottom. And the one on the smaller one looks like it's going upward. I think, and this is only my opinion, that there's a lot of flying things in the skies of Mars. And I believe there's still life itself. All right. I'll tell you the two things that caught my eye as soon as I zoomed into this. One, obviously it's this, which looks like a dome structure, right? And you'd kind of agree. But again, this white, what is with the white here? Again, they've been doing this since the moon photos. If you whiten it out, you can't see a detail. Get rid of the lines, nothing there to see. But what also got my eye was this. Let me just zoom in. It looks like some kind of jet engine type thing. And what I mean by that is it's going like this. It looks cylindrical, whatever it is. There's something right here. Looks like almost roundish or square. And you can see what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And going into the dock areas, you can see these what look like little squares with separations in between them. Now, let me take that away. Can you see that right there? It is literally going past this darker gray right there, but you can see the line still in there. And again, this feature here on top. Now, the object of this is to get rid of all that is white or tone it down, because what they're doing is they're taking these areas and they're making them super bright so you can't bring out details. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this out it's also something else you want to take note of. When you see this, it all looks like it's doing this, okay? It's all going up like this here. There's so much white in here, it throws off the lines and the edges of said objects, right? We have something right here. I can see this right here going like this. Here's another thing that kind of messed with my mind a little bit. I see this line doing this. I'm going, oh, wow, there's a base to this thing, and it's... It looks like this here is part of it. Well, wait a minute. If you kept doing that same line, this line here would not align with it. So I'm looking at it again. I said, wait a minute. Look at the fine line of this thing. Going down like this. Coming across. Going back up. It almost looks like a path to come down off this ramp and then down onto this said area. One other thing here. What is it with all of these here? I'm not sure what to make all of this. Because you can see what almost looks like there's a bunch of squares or some kind of separated parts. I'm not sure which one it is. And it looks like other little pieces inside here. Again, what is it with the white? It makes no sense that there's white in this photo. It should not be. I could take any colored photo of Mars, make it black and white, and you'll never see all of this white in it unless there's something to be hidden. All right, let's get into the full enhancement. And there we go. Folks, no way, no how is that natural. 
Now, all I did with this object here, not sure what to make of that. You can see them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. All I do is just ran the burn tool over these last two of these, and the darkness of those came out. Again, here's what they look like. But you can see one right here and one right down here. Okay. Bring it out, and we got rid of this right here because you can clearly see this thing going like this. And again, this feature, I don't know if it's kind of a rounded cornered square or what that is, but this is what you get. I got rid of this part here. Now, is it possible this is just dirt built up on the side of it? Either way, it looks cylindrical. Then have a look at this object here or parts. Okay. And again, if you look at all of the pieces coming up right here, they all look to be going in this direction. You can see other parts in here. This cylindrical object, like I just said. Now, let's have a look at the left-hand side. And again, look at these pieces, folks. What are these separate little pieces that have spaces in between them? Here's this other piece we were talking about earlier on top of this so-called hill. See that? That should not be there. But yet it is. You can see that. Again, bring up the darker areas. Bring up the brighter areas if you can. To me, folks, in my opinion, this here might have been a structure standing up and it's crumpled to the ground where you can see everything kind of broken apart and parts laying on top of a pile. Now, somebody had said before, what if they are still alive on Mars and they just decided to put everything in a pile to make way. In other words, kind of like when we have a big storm here, right? Where you got to get everything off the streets, you got to get everything out of the way so that you can still uh, travel and, you know, get around. Is that possible that's what happened? You can see this here? Going right across. Again, look at the little details in here. And if we were to go to the side here, that something's been manipulated and taken out of this area. Again, we have this whole area here with these, what I call parts. These are nut rocks. And there's something here. Another square piece here. If you look at that. There. There. Something there. Something right here. Have a look at that real closely. We're going to zoom into that a little bit. Not sure what to make of that right here. Almost looks like there's something round here and something slotted here. See that? If you notice in the dock areas, you can't see too much detail. Something that's exposed in the complete light right here. Right there. Let's make it super bright so again you can't see details. Folks, these people are slick, and that's all I can say about that. But to me, after getting rid of all of this white sitting on the top here, and I can still see this piece right here, right there, I can still see that even in all of this white. There's no reason this thing should be all white. None. Absolutely zero. Once you burn away this trash, you get all these weird funky shapes like something was erect right here. And just because they're making it a mound doesn't mean that it is. And it could have just simply collapsed. And we're seeing the remnants of that with all this junk laying there. This alone, to me, just gives it away. This is the original right here. I can still see that. Like I said, to me, it looks like something's been toppled over, or they just threw a ton of trash together just to get it out of the way. Pause it here, folks. Have a look. I'm just going to back out a little bit because I want it to be clearer. Have a look at it with your magnifiers. This whole area here. I'm going to scoot it over to the right-hand side. Again, these objects up here on this so-called hill, which I don't believe it is a hill at all. And then, of course, we have all these others right here. Have a close look, especially at this object here. This one here, 
And there's the whole photo. Pause it. Eyeball it with your magnifiers. And there you go, folks. Folks, when I saw this, I thought right off the bat, especially in a cylindrical object, I'm thinking, wow, are you serious? They want you to believe this is all natural? It's a hillside? Again, anytime you see whited areas like that, no way, no how is that going to be natural, unless it's snow covered. Again, they'll make some part of the picture real dark, so you can't see detail in objects. And then when you get over to the real bright areas, because let's assume this is natural, and the sun is being blocked from this little ridge line on the right-hand side, and this is the reason why you can't see it. Okay, but you can still bring out the anomalies. On the left-hand side, if it's truly in the sun, that would not explain all of this white all over this area, because I'm not going to call it a mountain, because I don't believe that it is. But you can't explain all of that white just like they've been doing on the moon photos, making everything super white so you can't see what it is. Bring down the whited areas, and you can bring back out the lines, and that's the whole thing, right? To bring out these lines and bring the objects back out. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, we got some more crazy stuff coming up. I had actually two of you folks actually say, hey, listen, uh, you need to go back to the older photos of Mars showing what looks like lakes and trees. So I got a cool one coming up for you. So thank you guys for suggesting that. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.